Hey guys, how's it going? Alec back for another video. First off, like this video, subscribe, share it. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. It helps me a little bit. I appreciate it. Second of all, I haven't forgot about the 2000 subscriber challenge. You guys on an Instagram poll did the army combat fitness test. I have not forgot about that. Once I get my paycheck, I'll be getting a $300 weight set. And anyway, let's get right into the video here. So one of the first things that I do when I get out of bed every morning is my mobility stretching routine. I often switch this out with different mobility routines that I have. So I'll do, you know, one mobility stretch in the morning. The next morning, I'll do a different mobility stretch. This is just one of the several that I do. It helps me, you know, get up, I wake up, I feel much better, it gets the blood flowing a lot better. And I do this every morning and I even stretch before I go to bed. And if you guys like to see my evening routine, comment down below. And let's go ahead and get started in this video. All right, the first thing that I like to do is I start out with just rolling the arm like this. You wanna to try to make sure that you're keeping your thumb facing forward. Just go nice and slow, it doesn't have to be fast. Now, after a certain point, you're gonna to begin to feel a little burn in your shoulders, you might have, you know, felt sore after yesterday's workout. I sure am. So, yeah, you just gotta do this for a little bit. Just breathe. Don't have to go so fast. You're gonna switch directions, go forward this time. Notice how I'm not really timing this. If you feel like, you know, the muscle is being stretched and used and you feel it, you know, being stretched to its capabilities, you can stop. You don't necessarily have to like count how many times you're going around or anything like that. That's not. Just do it to where you feel that you're getting the most benefit. Now I'm starting to feel a burn in my shoulders. And good. Now you're just gonna do the same thing to the other side. That's gonna feel a little bit better. All right, the next stretch that we're gonna be doing is for our lats, it's the long muscle, it's right here. It's, it just plays a very, very important role in most things that we do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our hands, come behind your head, you're gonna put your feet shoulder width apart, and you're gonna literally drive your hips this way, right? Don't really worry too much, because you'll feel it. Just think that you're between two walls and you can't go anywhere else. Deep breaths. Drive the opposite hip on that side. I'm pretty tight today. And now around this point, you can either put your arm like this and stretch. You might feel it more. I certainly do. Or you might feel it less. Good. All right, on to the next stretch. All right, the next stretch that we're gonna be doing is hip rotations. And these are very, very, very important to opening up your hips. And our hips are what drives us to do basically most of the things that we can do in our everyday life. So keeping your hips stretched out and healthy, very, very important. So you're just gonna go just a little bit further width apart, shorter width apart, just a little bit more. Put your hands on your hips and you're literally just going to Stretch it out. 
all the way out. You're gonna make sure that you keep your back straight. So make sure that like when you're like here, that it's not bending like this, but it's like this. So you're gonna be feeling a lot in your hamstrings too. And if you feel a tight point, you can stop right there. And you can keep going. Deep breaths. I'm gonna stop again. Now we're just gonna go to the other side. Like I said at the beginning of this video, you really, really should be stretching every single day of your life because you'll have a better quality of life that way. You can move better and move more freely, the better of a life you'll have. Can we keep going? into that stretch. The next stretch that we're going to be doing is good mornings. This is going to be aiming and targeting your hamstrings. Now think of it like a deadlift, a Romanian deadlift. It's a hinge movement. So I'm going to go on this side. Just put your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to put your hands on your hips like this. So if we thought the Romanian deadlifts, you're just going to have it like a hinge movement as well. So you're gonna go as about as far as your back's gonna let you. You're not gonna bend the back, and you're just gonna come back up. I'm gonna go back to this side. Just go down. Come back up. My hamstrings are really, really tight today. I'm not really sure why. That's just how it be. All right, once you know you're able to you know, do them, I forgot to say this, but do those with like a slight bend in your knee. But once you're able to surpass that, try keeping your legs straight and doing them that way. Again, don't bend the back. That's not the idea of this movement. The idea is to literally stretch your hamstrings. We're not going to be putting any strain on our lower back. Good. You should feel a little more stretched out. Next, we're going to go into the inner thigh. All right, so the next stretch that we're doing is, of course, for our inner thighs. So you're just going to put your feet just a little Past shoulder width. I apologize that my camera's not really focusing and you know putting the lighting in the correct places. Bear with it if I of course can edit it out. Anyway, what you're gonna do, put your hands to your sides like this, and you're literally just going to go down on one side like this. There's some cars acting kind of funny. You'll feel this in your inner thighs. Most people, especially I did, I neglected my inner thighs. I didn't really think about them. All right, so once you get the blood there a little bit better, you can start to bend one knee. Kind of like a one-legged squat. You'll feel that a lot more. And this doesn't even have to be a long stretch for you in the morning, just like mobility wise. Five to 10 minutes is perfect. Make sure that your knee is going past your toe, not 
Make sure your knee's not inward or outward, it's directly in front of your toes. And if keeping one foot on the upper, on the other side like this is too intense for you, I want to put it up like this. I'm going to put mine down. And at this point, you can just kind of go side to side. It's the best inner thigh stretch. Oh my god. Sorry about that. It's the best inner thigh stretch I've ever done. Deep breaths. Side. Yeah, my the lights aren't really focusing. There's a little more. The next stretch that we're doing is for our hip flexors. These are very, very, very tight for most people, including me. So let's see how this goes today. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna align your hips like so. Have one knee on the ground, other one up. Make sure they're in line. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna literally gonna do an anterior pelvic tilt. So you're gonna tilt your hip like this, right? and you're literally going to push yourself forward, driving it forward like this. You can have your knee on, put your hand on your knee if you like. You wanna focus, you wanna focus about pushing this forward, so not really stressing your knee out a whole lot. Just gonna kind of pulse, kind of back and forth. I know I'm pretty tight today. Keep going. Again, you want to drive the hips forward so you kind of feel like a like a pull in your quad. And you literally want to drive your hip forward. You're gonna feel your hip flexor stretch. When you do this, last time, when you do this, don't Lean back like this, look up. You're not gonna feel the stretch. You wanna literally drive yourself forward. Hold it. And good. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And we'll see you on the next stretch. All right, the last stretch that we're gonna be doing today is the pigeon stretch. Um, a lot of people get this stretch wrong. So I'm gonna show you how to do it correctly so that you can feel a better stretch. So anyway, let's get to it. So get into a press up position and you're gonna put your right knee to your right hand and right foot to your left, like this. All right. Now what you wanna do is make sure that your feet, well your back foot is pointing literally straight back. All right. Now most, most, people, most people, all right, they lay forward like this. It's not a proper stretch, do not do that. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna literally think about sinking your stomach to the floor while you're pushing your hips back. That's how I had to learn it. So like this, you're gonna feel a lot more. You can pulse, you can find different you know, tight points don't necessarily have to stay in one place in this position. Come back up. Come back down. Make sure you're breathing properly. Breathing is extremely important, especially when you're stretching. I'm gonna go one more. You can keep going if you're still tight. Now hold it. And 
It's good. So guys, that is literally all I will do. I obviously have different mobility stretches and routines that I follow, but that's just one of them, like I said at the beginning of this video. So you should feel a lot more stretched out. You should feel a lot more better than you did before, right? It's the idea of a morning stretch. You should have been sweating a little bit. You should have felt a little bit warm. That's great because it's mean that means your body is just primed to go about its day. So if you guys like to see my night routine, comment down below. And again, I did not forget about the 2000 subscriber challenge. I didn't. It will be on its way. Just don't worry about it. I'm still trying to figure it out. So again, thank you guys so much for 2000 subscribers. Again, also like this video, comment, share it. Have people, you know, have a better, you know, mobility stretch every single morning. Helps me out too. Makes me feel better that I'm inspiring you guys to stretch and even just get stronger. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.